Welcome to the report from Tiger Mountain, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to talk tonight about the lab leak theory going mainstream. Stick around and listen. The lab leak theory, ladies and gentlemen, you know, um, yes, we're going to talk about that tonight. Um, you know, it's obviously gone mainstream, you know, we've had the FBI and the Energy Department in America come out and say that that is most likely the cause of the recent COVID pandemic, you know what I mean? And, uh, well, I'd like to thank them because, you know, I actually got a ban in uh, April 2020 when I did a video saying the, that exact thing. And apparently at the time that was disinformation, ladies and gentlemen, that was misinformation. I was fact checked and I was removed from YouTube for posting <laughs> such terrible, terrible um, conspiracy theories, which, as we now know, the US government is themselves saying. So it's very... Very uh, strange turn of events, but it's nice of them to agree with me. But I think a lot of people in the uh, conspiracy community were suspicious that whatever COVID was did emanate from the, uh, you know, the Wuhan Virology Lab. Um, and, and it's just uh, deeply suspicious, I think, you know, what's going on there. But look, I'd like to examine it a little further. Look, do I think, you know, it's possible? Of course. I mean, you know, the idea that somebody, you know, ate a, a bat or a pangolin or, or whatever, and then at some wet market, that immediately seemed like a cover story from word go. I thought that was rubbish. Um, I do think that's most likely the um, uh, reason we had the COVID pandemic. Um, but, you know, I mean... Uh, it, the way the US government is now using it, you know, it's like anything that goes mainstream I become suspicious of, you know, and I think it's interesting the timing of it, isn't it, ladies and gentlemen? Because at the time, basically they're saying China you caused it, you know, the whole COVID thing was a bioweapon that emanated from China. That's what they're saying, basically, the US government. That's at the same time that China is in talks with Russia to back them in the Ukraine, right, to basically militarily back them. And obviously, if, if they military, if China and Russia team up, well, that gives, that gives the United States a hell of a, a hell of a head so, you know, is it a kind of punishment? You know what I mean? Is it a kind of like, listen, we're going to go down this road, you know, media wise and, you know, m you know, make up this threat. So, you know, I mean, I'm suspicious. And it was a very interesting um, Chinese, um, you know, he's a member of the Chinese Communist Party and he was one of their media spokespeople. I can't remember who it was or what his name was, but he came out and said, look, if, you know, in relation to the accusation that came from the Wuhan lab, um, he, he said, you want the origin of COVID? He said, you shouldn't try the Wuhan virology lab. You should try Fort Detrick, which was the uh, famous fort in the United States that's connected to bioweapons. So obviously the Chinese will just flip it and um, say, well, we didn't do it. You know, it was actually something the Americans did. And that actually might have, <laughs> there might have some truth to it, even though it's coming from a, a Chinese communist news source, ladies and gentlemen. There might be some truth that the Americans created it because there seems to be so much complicity uh, going on with, you know, world health and all these vaccines and all this blah, 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 you know, that seems to me to point to at least elements within Western society, usually the globalists, were involved and knew um, uh, what was happening. As we all know, there was that event at Johns Hopkins University, um, you know, just before uh, it all happened. You know, where they basically did Agenda 21, where they did basically a dry run of COVID and then two weeks later, the virus is free in Wuhan. So it's all very suspicious, ladies and gentlemen. And, um, you know, I think there is something very weird going on. And there's other all kinds of, you know, um, things going mainstream. You've got the lab leak theory going mainstream and you've got Woody Harrelson. You know what I mean? He came on and did that wonderful talk on Saturday Night Live, basically red pilling half of the audience of Saturday Night Live. So I think it's very interesting what's going on. And it's great to see these things um, go mainstream but we still have to maintain our critical faculties and question even when the mainstream begins to um, agree with us as they just did with the lab week theory so that's my comments today on the report from tiger mountain i hope you enjoyed them cheers